Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. We are about to embark upon another show. Yep. Which means 60 minutes, maybe, maybe, of what I loosely like to call entertainment. Okay, no, seriously, here we go. Hey, um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody in the chat. And those of you holding on hold to get your questions answered, please don't go anyplace. I will get to you as soon as I can. Um, if you would like to call in and join the show live, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. And the call-in number is 845-277-9131. And if you have a question you'd like to ask, just push the one button. Your hand will go up on the screen. And I know you have a question to ask. Or you want to connect with a loved one on the other side. Whew. Okay. If you'd like to join the show live on YouTube, you can. And you can join the um, conversation in the YouTube chat and um, everybody talks to each other. I answer questions there also. Uh, hey, Mimi, Heather, Patrick, Amy, May, how are you? Anne is in there, Rebecca's in there. Uh, we have quite a few people in the chat. So Rebecca asked what was her song of the day and the the answer I was getting is that song shake down break down everybody da 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 da, da. is that something light. Rebecca that's your song of the day. I didn't know if you would know just by the few little words I put in there. Um and her question was my 22 year old son was laid off. Uh, do you see him? You know, Rebecca, I want to answer this question. She wanted, she asked if I see him getting a job, you know, or getting uh, hired or whatever within a week, two weeks, a month. I see him doing something on his own, whether that means going out and just driving until he gets um, brought back to the company or another company, but there is another company that's going to hire him. So either a company will hire him to drive uh, or he's independently driving for a company, like a tr maybe a truck. I don't know. I just, I'm getting that there's something coming in immediately. There's an opportunity coming in immediately that he will be able to do that is, might have something to do with driving or trucks. Okay. That's, and I feel like it's more independent. And then the second thing is, yes, within a month, he has the opportunity to become an employee. Now, whether that's for the same company or a different company, I'm not sure that message seems like it could be two or three parts, but it also seems like it could be one thing that leads to another. So however that unfolds for him, um, I I hope that unfolds very well. Anne has been asking, you guys, I am so sorry. I have a hair in my eye and I cannot find it. And it is making me a little crazy. I know it's I know it's connected to my head, but it landed in my eye. <laughs> so through the show, I'm gonna be like blinking or trying to get it out. And well, just so you know, that's what's going on with my face right now. Um, so, um, the next question was, Anne wanted to know, and she's asked this a couple of times, and Anne, this is a really difficult question to answer, but I'm going to give you your answer. She, her, her person wants to know how did his father, his father die? And I keep getting the answer of, um, drugs. Now, before we jump to any conclusions, um, drugs can also be medication. It can be that you were taking the wrong prescription, the wrong amount, too many prescriptions, or there was just too much put in. Now, in a case when I hear drugs, a lot of people who are put in hospice are being given morphine, and that is actually what is um, 
you know. You know. That's what you know. So, and that's the answer that I have. Whether it was that he had too many prescriptions or too many medications or whatever we want to call it in his his body or it was a hospice situation. I do keep hearing also that maybe he had some kind of pneumonia or bronchial thing possibly going on. I'm not sure if that's for somebody else or if that's still about him. But I am going to say when I do hear the answer, the answer is that. That is the answer. That's all I can say to you. I hope that's helpful. Hey, Amy. Amy says, happy Wednesday. Uh, sending you big hugs back. When are we doing tacos, Amy? That's all I really want to know. Jay Francis um, and Elizabeth is here. Uh, Rebecca, okay, you guys, as you know, I go back and forth between callers and the chat. So I already did two chats. Oh, did you, Patrick says he'll do tacos with me. I love that. Patrick, I love that attitude. I do. Um, you're welcome. And, and then I'm going to go to callers in a second, and that is going to be um, if you'd like to call in again, the number is, uh, 845-277-9131 and you can ask a question or you can, uh, connect with a loved one on the other side. Hey, Caroline. Oh my gosh, Caroline. I love when I see your name pop up and Margaret, Margaret's here too. Hey, everybody. I'm so happy when I see people. It's just, it just makes me happy. Okay. I'm going to go to the call line now. I feel, oh wait, I completely forgot to do names and songs. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the first name I'm hearing, I, I, is Tony, <laughs> not me, Tony, Tony up there. And Antonia or Anto Antonio or Tony, Tony. Um, and then I am hearing um, the name. Now, uh, for those of you who are new to the show, names can be your name, the person who passed name or somebody significant that you've been thinking about or asking about, somebody significant in their life. Um, so the next name I'm hearing is uh, Brian, and the next the the next name I'm hearing is Josephina, and then Charles. Okay, not Charlie, Charles. Very, very specific about that, Charles. Okay. Um, and then the songs I'm hearing are, uh, I don't, I can't, I, you need to give me more on that song. I can't, I can't, I'll come back to that song. Cause I can't, I don't get that. I don't have that song. I don't get that. That song isn't, uh, okay. It's, I think, set, uh, Da -na 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 -na. I know that's not how it goes. That sounds like the chicken dance. Oh my God. Uh, I think it's. Oh, oh my gosh. I do know that song. Okay. Whoever this is, their energy is really, 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 really fast. So it sounded like, like, Doo -doo 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 -doo. but it is actually. Whether your brother, whether your mother, staying alive, staying alive. I love that song. It brings back sweet memories for me. Um, very sweet memories. Uh, not because that's my era, but more recent sweet memories for me. Um, okay, the next song that I'm hearing is Live and Let Die. And then the next song I'm hearing, I'm just hearing the band, The Who, unless there's a song, The Who. And then um, there's a movie. Oh, that's a first. That's a freaky first. Um, the movie that I'm hearing is The Calling. So whomever that is for the movie is The Calling. How about that? That's new. Okay. And then we're going to do one more song, and then we're going to move on to callers. 
and answer more questions. And the next song, the last song for right now is I had <laughs> the time of my life. And all I can see <laughs> is that movie with, um, it's more recent. It's not the original, like, lift the person up over your head. It's the one, um, oh, my God, who is in it? That person from Saturday Night Live with Tina Fey and her, some, oh, Steve Carell. And is that Ryan Go Gosling? Um, and then the chick they lift up, he lifts up. That's the movie I'm seeing. Okay. So that those are the songs today, you guys. I'm so sorry that they were not coming through so so strongly. Okay. Um, hey, Modi, how are you? Zaylee, how are you? Welcome to the show. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Amy Amy Pooler. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably who it is. Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller. And then from there, we'll go back and forth between uh, calling and and uh, so on and so forth. Questions in the queue and questions on the phone. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Pat from Connecticut. Hey, Pat, how can I help you today? Hi. A uh, couple of questions about chance. There's a um, company in Australia, if I can say the name, I will, but uh, herbal stuff for his issue, laryngeal paralysis. Do you see that a good choice to purchase for him at this point to support him? And is he getting, is he having seizures of any type? Okay, the answer to the first part of that is no. The second part is yes. Um, okay. And I do feel like um, what I'm going to say is um, <sighs> okay. Um, know when to know that's that's all i, I can I say right now and i i get where you are and i know the process and there is something here that's made in america that is a natural remedy that is going to be helpful for chance and it's it's not the thing in australia but it's more of something I don't, and I know you're going to want to know what this is, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to tell you. Yeah. It's it's more of something you would find every day in your kitchen. So black seed oil technically is cumin, and oregano oil, oil of oregano is olive oil and oregano. And those two things are the most right. powerful things you can give anyone or Anything you can take. It's, a, you know, black seed oil is said to clear, cure everything except for death. And oil of oregano is the strongest um, so-called antibiotic that there is along with garlic. Okay. But don't give chance garlic. But what I am going to say is there's something in your kitchen um, that would be very effective and helpful. Now it's you. So what I'm getting here, it's in your kitchen. That means you already have what chance needs. Okay, love. Yeah. I don't know. Um, you did tell me about black seed oil. I oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I thought we were done. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to say, love. Here's what I'm going to say, and I'm so sorry about that. Here's what I'm going to say. What I'm getting is it's something that you've already purchased for chance, and you've used and stopped using it, and you just need to go back to it again. Um, and what I would do 
is I would lightly and gently, very gently, take your two thumbs and go down Chance's spine and make sure everything is in order there. Just make sure it's all in alignment. And that's the second thing I would do. And I know, I know what you're experiencing. And I know you're in a place of, you know, I, I don't care if it's a cat, a dog, a bird, a person. We're going to do everything we can to the very last minute to help. And, you know, I had two little dogs and I took my dogs in for acupuncture and chiropractic adjustments. <laughs> I did. I would do it. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I would do it again. Um, and there is a thing with acupuncture, especially for animals. If acupuncture removes trauma from humans, it can also remove trauma from animals. Um, now, I'm not saying do that because there's a financial side to this. And then there's a, you know, it, it, there's just, there's always the balance of things. And what I'm going to say to you at this point, love, is that make smart choices. And um, if there is someplace close to you, a school that works with vets that are learning acupuncture or chiropractic, that might be an option for you. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, 702. Who oh, 702, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Okay, if I say your number, you have like three seconds to respond. Not because I'm impatient. Yes, I am. I am. But because also there are a lot of people waiting and um, clearly not there. So we're going to go to 651. 651, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Christiana. I'm calling from Minnesota. Hey, Christiana. How can I help you today? Um, I actually have a question about a dream I had. Can I ask about a dream? Yep. I'm not going to promise you I can answer about your dream because I don't even know about my own dreams, but go right ahead. I'm going to try to help you. <laughs> okay. Um, I just remember the this one part that um, there was a box and I went to open the box and there um, weathered out a bunch of little tiny snakes that crawled up my arm and then when I when I had opened the box there was like a spirit there that was like attached to me but I couldn't see them it was like a silhouette okay Okay, Christiana, I think I can help you. <laughs> I actually think I can help okay. you this time. First of all, um, for you, everybody listening, re-listening, uh, watching, re-watching, and at any time, and this is at like the 18-minute mark of the show, so come back and do this once a day, once a week, whatever, because this is a big one, folks. Um, we're going to do. We're gonna start with a clearing, and the clearing is that... Um, I'm just going to uh, say all attachments have been cleared from us. I get a no, and we're going to clear that. Okay. Uh, all that caused this and kept this has been healed, cleared, and released. I get a no. Now, as this clears, you could feel lightheaded, dizzy, um, afraid, sad, blah, 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 any gamut of emotions, hot, cold, pressure, whoo, breathless, and not like in the, I had the time of my life song, just breathless. Um, wh what I'm going to say to you is um, attachments can literally, can be anything, an attachment to like an addiction. It can be an attachment to a person, place, or thing. It can be a, an attachment to a way of doing things, or it could literally be an attachment. 
okay, an energetic attachment to a person we dated, somebody we lost, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't mean that, that their spirit is still with us in a negative way. It means we're still attached. It's what we are attached to and we're not letting go of that can be harmful to us. Excuse me, there are good attachments and bad, not so good of attachments. So we're going to clear all attachments that are no longer serving us. Oh, if you guys are feeling this comment, uh, comment if you are feeling this. Yeah, I feel it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I am going to say that the snakes going up the arm because they were baby snakes, um, in theory, we would think they can't help hurt us, but they still scare us. And um, yeah, they can if they're poisonous, right? So it's something the snakes could represent something that you're in denial about. And I'm channeling this. You're in denial about the fact that this might be hurting you or something you're doing or people or something are hurting you and you're minimizing it. And it could be something from the past, present, not sure there, but this is just what I'm getting. The box and the attachment is something you're keeping deep hidden within yourself or you do not know about, you're not aware that this is the effect that it's having up on you. Because a box, something inside of a box is something either we're not looking at or something that seems to be hidden from us, but nothing is hidden from us. Okay. So that's what I'm getting love. And we're just clearing all of this away. And I, I truly, truly, truly hope this was helpful for you. All right, thank you for you, the reading. You are so, so welcome. Please call back anytime. I'll be happy to help you again, okay? Okay, thank you. You are welcome. 519, please hold on the line. You will be next. Okay, I'm going to answer a question on here. Hopefully. Uh, Jay Francis wants to talk to Stacy, who just passed. Jay, can you please tell me who was Stacy to you? Um, who was Stacy to you? Uh, Jay says she's 519. Okay, then I'm going to skip that question because Jay's coming up in a second. And I'm going to go to the next question, who is Elizabeth. Elizabeth asked, last week I asked about my car settlement. I went for a new MRI. Was this the piece of information to not have out before the settle? Do you see me, my back issues as permanent? Will my back surgery help? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, but Elizabeth, here's what I'm going to say. This is my own personal opinion based on the experience of very many people that I know who have had back surgery and spirit is also chiming in here. First and foremost, yes, you never, if you have been injured, you never settle until all the cards are on the table. And this is a card. It's a very important card. Once you settle, you cannot go back and say, oh, but wait, this isn't done. Oh, but wait. I just found out this. That's not their problem. That's not their problem. The next thing I am hearing is, will your back problems be permanent? No. Get into the right facilitator to help you. The right facilitator for you. Now, some people don't mind having surgeries. Some people don't care. They're like, yep, you know, before they try anything else, they're going to go under the knife. And for boobs, for face, yeah, definitely. You know, if you want bigger boobs, a facelift, that's probably pretty much the answer for that. Back surgery, I know two people personally who have had back surgery, and it did not. The results were not even close to what they had hoped they'd be. 
It's just a process. And this is how the process went for both people and most people who go the route of surgery. It starts with you go in for the surgery, they fuse the two discs, which is counterintuitive because your discs need the space because your nerve endings come by your vertebra, okay? I get why surgeons do that. That's what surgeons do. Surgeons do surgery. But after the surgery, all of the pain stayed. It got worse. The nerve damage became worse um, and caused a lot more problems. Then they ended up going in for shots and doing a lot of other things that were very, again, this is the speciality of these particular doctors. So this is what they are going to tell you to do. And if you're okay with that, that's you, you do what you're okay with. Okay. Um, you could also, and this was the route I'm taking or the route I'm, I've taken, uh, I'm, I'm taking is to find a really good chiropractor and physical therapist that uses laser decompression and um, stim, stim, the stim machine. And I, I have this really amazing neuromuscular therapy massage therapist that knows how to, what pressure and everything to use to um, these people together are getting everything in my spine realigned and alleviating everything from my um, lower back from and my upper back and neck. Um, I am going to tell you that if you're comfortable taking that route and you get to choose as a patient, you get to advocate for yourself which route is best for you. Now, insurance companies don't always like chiropractors and they don't always validate them. But if you go to a physical therapy at the same time with a doctor on board, and if they're doing the uh, MLS laser um, treatments and a number of other things, you're going to find relief without having to go under the knife. Now, what's the bigger payout? Always surgery. Insurance companies put things into a machine. It's not personal at all. There's this big machine. They put everything in. And if you lose a limb, it's this much. If you do this, it's this much. That's just the way insurance companies work. That's what I have for you, love. I hope that was helpful. I am going to go to 519. 519. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. How are you? Hey, <laughs> well, that's right. I said five, you're 519 you and 519 was next. Okay, so <laughs> who, Jennifer, who was Stacy to you? Stacy is, um, she was very good friends with my neighbor and I, I was friends with her as well. Um, and she passed away yesterday. I'm so sorry. Um, the first thing I hear is the song, Good Life. Um, so she is, she, she is in the awakening. She's calling it the awakening. She's still just a little heavy. And I'll explain that in a moment. She's still just a little bit heavy. And she, but she's so much lighter than she was and so much, so happy. She's so filled with joy. It's finally, <laughs> like I hear two statements, it's finally over. I finally graduated. It's finally over. I finally graduated. Um, <laughs> she's saying this wasn't the easiest ride that she rode, meaning this life. 
but it was worth it for yeah. all the knowledge she took with her and she gets to carry with her. Okay. She's also acknowledging mm -hmm. that there's a, um, I, can you use a different word, Stacy? I, she's, she, there's a song playing and uh, it's, I kind of know the song, but I'm not hearing the words. It's like the song in the beginning, the the Staying Alive song. Um, can can we get a different, softer version of this? A softer version for the sake of the show. Just a little, not so on point for this. Um, answers are coming to the questions that everybody's been asking. Thank you. That was eloquent. That was beautiful. Um, answers are coming to the questions everybody's been asking. So it, whether this means specifically in her case or in a generality, that's what's being said. She also wants you to know, thank you for everything and the roles that everybody played in this incarnation and that there will be um, some like like some life coming for it. Okay, I don't I don't even know what that means. Um, mm -hmm. But you will when the time comes, or you do because of the message is for you. And then the last thing she wants to say is <laughs> no. I'm going to mess up the words to this. So if you are in the chat or Jennifer, you know this song, please, please correct me. Um, everybody must get stoned. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever <laughs> real. I probably heard that song like once. I don't really know that song. Yeah. Um, but that's like. I know the song. <laughs> okay, thank you. And that's what counts. It's not for me. It doesn't matter if I know this. It's for the person. And that's that's the song she's bringing through. <laughs> love you. Love her. I love you, Stacey. I love the poop out of you. Um, she wants to acknowledge that she is with, um, like she's showing me behind her. And she's not completely with them yet. And not because she has not transitioned, but she's still consoling or still part, her energy is still, she hasn't ascended as high as she could yet, but she's on her way. She says, I'm on my way. Um, but she, she's showing me right what, what I feel is close, but not as close as I normally see people. The first group of people she's showing me, I think are her grandparents. I don't know if her but but for sure her grandparents and then other family members are there and then she's saying uh, um she uh that's okay um <clears throat> she is saying that she's going to be with them within the hour meaning the transition will be complete within the hour and that makes a lot of sense to me once the transition is complete the heaviness that everybody is feeling about her, like the real heaviness, will subside until any ceremonies come around. And then it's just the emotions that they're carrying about it. But once her transition is complete within the hour, she, everybody will feel a little lighter about this. Okay, a little lighter like that that daunting heaviness will lift and then it will feel a little bit lighter. And that's sometimes when people say, I don't feel them around me anymore. It's not that you don't feel them. It's that they have completely transitioned and you, what you're left with is their light. And, and then you have to go into a new vibration or free, free, a new vibration to, be in alignment with them. So if you're staying in that down, like heavier frequency, you will not, it will not be as easy for you to connect and communicate with them at that time. You have to like 
focus in on the good times and how they're home and they're at peace and they're doing well. And then also focus in on um, that the, the emotions you are having are valid and fair and good. However, um, if you can go past the pain and get into the celebration of their new life, it will bring you um, to feel them again, but in a good way, in a good way. Okay, so you might want to let people hear that part of it so they can understand that. And then, um, and I hope this was helpful and everybody must get stoned. And that is that. <laughs> and then, now I'm not now now that is not me telling everybody to go get stoned. Nope, 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 nope. That is a message of a song to Jennifer from Stacy. It is not an uh hey, everybody go do this. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's what I have for you, Jennifer. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> Thank you, Cody. I appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure. I hope you have an amazing day. Until next time, please take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, the next caller I'm going to take is 347, but 347, I'm going to an answer a question online before I take your um, call. Okay, um, I'm looking for a question, Sanila. Uh, I love you guys. Oh, it just flipped me down to like all the questions. Okay, Diana, welcome to the show, Diana. Just a quick question, Tony. At my job, I heard there may be layoffs. Sorry about that. Um, in August, just wondering if I were if I will be laid off and if there is a new job opening for me. Thank you, Tony, for your, all your help. Diana, um, Diana P. Perez, please let me know you're still here and I will start answering this question. Let me know that you're still here and let me know where you are calling from. I'm going, oh, and then I'm going to tap into this for you. So Diana, um, because I don't, I don't like to answer questions if the people have not stuck around. Then I'll go to somebody else's question. Um, okay, Diana, thank you. I'm still here and from Houston. Okay, that helps me. To, believe it or not, it does help me to tap into the energy. Is Diana going to be one of the people laid off? No, no. And did you guys see that flash of light on that? No. And again, I have no lights on. The the everything is closed. Yes. Okay. No, I don't feel like you're gonna be. Every time I say no, ah, um, I feel like you're going to be kept. And if you if you were to be laid off, you would find something very quickly. Um, I hear the statement with a quickness. Boom. Just like that, there would be something there for you. And part of the reason you're not, you're a critical part of the machine is what I'm hearing. Um, so I, in the way I'm going to say this is you do your job, you do it well, and they're, they, they wouldn't want to lose you. But if, if they did lose you, the next day you would have something there. You would definitely have something there. Keep in your mind that you are a critical part of this company only think that and of course they wouldn't let you go but if they do there's something better that you will have the and I'm not even joking the very next day you would have it um and absolutely my pleasure Diana okay I think I 347 was next I think 347 was next okay Three, four, seven, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Katie. I'm calling from New York. Hey, Katie. How can I help you today? Hi. Um, I'm moving, and um, I went to um, Charlotte, North Carolina to um, look at some places. And um, the, the ones that 
were like mainly in the city. And I'm thinking about, so one I've seen is called um, MAA. And the place is beautiful. Like it had a coffee shop, it had a really nice gym. It was a good vibe there, it's really nice. Um, but the leasing agent was kind of like, like the first day I went, he wasn't even there, but he was supposed to be there. <laughs> and then the second time, like we did the tour, he was just a little condescending. And um, the the review says that, um, like if you read Google reviews, it says like they have like homeless people there and stuff, like living on the roof or in the building. So when I asked him about it, he was like, oh, that's like a city problem. It's not really the company's problem. So I don't, I don't know. So like, I like the place, but I don't know if I like the, okay. main, like the management company. Okay. Here's what I'm going to tell you. When and, is, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, love. Okay. No, no, no. I was just wondering about that place versus say I've seen some other ones, but the other ones, um, they might not be offering say a discount, but I, I did like them. Okay. Here's what I'm getting for what it's worth. When okay. you said, um, I think it was Charlotte, North Carolina. Instantly, I started doing this little groove, like a little bluesy, like. Um, groove like yeah that's it that's where we want to be mm -hmm, that's it and then <laughs> as soon as you said the place I got it, it all stopped the mm. energy completely changed so you're going to the right city but the wrong area the wrong area of the city and I'm gonna say this to you and I'm going to say it to anybody moving right mm -hmm. now to anybody relocating go further out um what's not being talked about what's not being talked about and i cannot talk too much about it on this show because the show will probably my youtube feed will end my my phone log will probably go dead so i cannot talk too much about it right now but that problem that you brought up to him about the rooftop and the reviews that is going to start to take over a lot of cities because there are for a lot of reasons that that one show wouldn't even cover it like the cost of living the unemployment the people not working and the people yeah. coming in and the the other people not, uh, the 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 uh, all of the m medications that people yeah. are taking that is going to start to overrun a lot of city areas and you want ah. to be further out and the, i'm going to say this the further out the better but be as far out as is practical now a couple things happen once you go a little further out you may find a more mm -hmm. reasonable rent you may find a more reasonable people that you are um, cohabitating with and around. Um, sometimes when we want to be in the thick of it because it's it's the city and everything is so beautiful and so near us, yeah, but everything, you know, everything else is also. And we need to be careful, especially if you're a single woman, even if you're a single man now, even if you're a man, I'm a single, not single, we need to be really careful because certain areas are just being not, maybe there's not enough patrol, maybe patrol can't do what they need to do, whatever it is, who cares? Just don't be in those areas. Just think critically, not, don't think. Oh, but this is the the inn, the the whatever. Drive to the inn and drive your happy butt right back home to safety again. Okay, okay, okay. Don't live in the muck yes, of the yuck. There were, there were, okay. There were other places. Say, for example, there. Uh, that's one part of town, but there's other places in the city. That place just was offering say a discount. Say there are other places that have like I like this other place that's called um. 500 on um, West Trade is I really really like it. It's further way further up. Um, it's just not having a discount. So okay. I was maybe you're saying also don't let that don't necessarily let the discount rule. <laughs> and don't you know the other place you're saying that still doesn't have the best vibe. And if a place is offering a discount, we really have to go. Hmm. 
they're desperate for people because there is a housing crisis right now. And if they are offering a discount, no. it's because everybody's leaving because of the problems in the whole area. So what I'm going to tell you is go even further out. Uh, go even further out. Okay. okay, sweetie, that's what they need you to do. They need you to All expand. Right. You know, the one thing about there's there's the city and then there's the suburbs and then there's right outside the suburbs and typically right outside the suburbs you're going to find your best rent you're going to find your best peoples um i'm going to tell you there's something about living in either a suburb or outside of a suburb or on the border of a suburb and driving to what you want and then getting back out of it um because and, and here, I'm gonna, I'm just going to put you on hold for a second, but don't hang up. But I, I, I'm going to go into a okay. whole nother thing here okay. that I, I really want to say. Listen, areas, geographic areas have energy, a frequency, just like we do. Now, we might be moving into what we are going to work at an area that we perceive as a high value or a high end type of place. And then we get in and we realize the frequency in that place is no bueno, no good. I think that's what bueno means. Um, it, it's just bad, right? Because maybe in this case, you're looking at a place and people, I'm going to tell you, if if you're they're giving certain reviews, those reviews are probably true. And then you start to get that frequency, that energy. OK, so you want to make sure you're going not to where they say it's a high frequency, a high energy um, type of vibe. You want to go where it is. OK, where where it actually is. And I always say if you live in an area, I've read this so many times, I'm just going to use this as the analogy. If you hang around. Uh, four, um, four people who are positive, you'll be the fifth. If you hang around four people who are own their business, you'll be the fifth. If you hang around four people that are millionaires, you'll be the fifth. If you hang around four people that are drug addicts, you will be the fifth. Be choose your people, choose your area, because that starts to immerse you whether you want it to or not. Energy, our energy expands six feet around us, minimum of. That means when someone comes near us, their energy is interacting or in our energy. If their energy is not that high vibing good energy, or it's causing depression, sadness, fear, whatever it is, even if we're in the best mood, eventually that energy might start to affect us. So we always want to be around the four critical people. Every, we want our four positive people. We want our four high, high income people. We want our four um, creative people, our people who are really out there making it happen. And those are, are our choices that we stick to like nothing else, okay? And then if we are going into an area where there is some of this going on, we want to get the heck out of that area because you know what? Eventually, everybody who is high vibing will leave because they didn't move there for that. Nobody goes to a company or to an area to live for that. Nobody they will move further out and then you'll be left with what's left. And that's what I have to say about that. 203331, you're going to be next. Um, yes, if you have a question, please post it in the chat or you can call in 845-277-9131 and I will try to answer it. I will get to as many questions as I can. Um, Caroline, I, well, first I'm going to take 203, and then I'm going to go to Caroline's question. Uh, 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
Hi, this is Michelle from Georgia. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? Well, um, I always hate keeping on asking about work, but <laughs> it never quite resolves. It's, I just wanted to, um, you know, I'm, I'm in this job and, uh, you know, it pays well, it's a good job, but I just feel uh, so aggravated half the time, you know, with people encroaching in my territory and, uh, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I should be doing. Okay. So uh, one of the things is um, I'm going to do a clearing. I'm going to do a healing. Um and I'm trying to think of the verbiage for this, but that um, people stay out of our personal space. Okay, I'm just going to start there. Huh. Um, it, yeah, at work, at home, whatever it is, they just stay out of our personal space. Um, and the second thing I'm going to say is start looking at what else is out there. Okay. And see if you can't find okay. something that fits all of your needs. OK, because there is a thing that until something heals, we might keep encountering it. And I have a feeling. OK, thank you. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. OK, we have strong boundaries and healthy boundaries. I get a no. We're going to clear, heal, release that and all that caused it and kept it. Oh, <clears throat> um, we have strong and healthy uh Oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even think now. We have strong boundaries and healthy boundaries. And then the next part of that would be uh, people respect our boundaries. Thank you. I get a no. We're going to heal, clear, release that. All that caused it and all that kept it. Oh, okay. Um, and that's what it is. That's where this all goes back to for you is that um, whether it be here, at home, childhood, whatever it is, it goes back to people crossing the line with your boundaries and having that. So we're healing, clearing, and that's at about the 51-ish minute mark of the show. So please go back to that point and listen to that a couple of times if you need to. Okay, love? I feel like this will help because once we have, okay. once we healed what causes the issue, the issue no longer persists. So I'm all about getting to the source of the issue okay. and releasing it. So then it's it either doesn't bother us when they do it or it it no longer happens. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. And I look forward to next time. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. I'm going to go to the Caroline. Caroline, Tony, may I get a message from Archangel Michael? When I was meditating earlier, he sent he sent me a bright, wavy blue light. I love that. Michael is the blue light for all of us who know we know. Through my third eye, I'm walking on a new light, a new high today. Sorry. Thank you, my dear friend. Yes. Okay, so um, I love Archangel Mikael, amazing energy, great protector. Um, and Archangel Michael or Mikael is the one who will take his sword and dissolve any energies that do not belong or that are blocking us when we appropriately ask. So Caroline, the message I'm getting from uh, uh, for you from him is huh, take heed all will resolve itself don't try to force an outcome as what we have planned for you might be better than what you're trying to stick to. 
I hope that makes sense for you, Caroline. I really do hope that makes sense for you. I hope that is um, information that is helpful. I'm going to go to the very next caller, who is 914. 914, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, my name is Ray, and I'm calling from uh, California. Hey, Ray, how can I help you today? Hi, uh, I was just wondering, I don't know if you can do this, like a reading on love life, if that's okay, or if there's anything specific you'd prefer to do. Yeah, if you have a specific question about love life, because the time is running a little bit short right now, and I'm sorry, that was 916. Um, anyway, if you have a more specific, can you hone it down into a really specific what you want to know about your love life for me? You know, what I basically want to know is, you know, I'm single and I'm happy, you know, with my career. And I just want to know if there's anything coming up that you think, um, you know, in the next six months at all, or if you see anything different. Okay. So what I'm getting for you, Ray, is there's going to be a lot of movement. Okay. I feel okay. like you... And whatever movement means for you personally um, is what's coming in. There's going to be a lot of movement. Now, there may be someone you meet in the up, upcoming. Um, that might be a temporary situation. Um, but in a year is when you're going to meet the long-term uh, uh, the possibility of meeting the longer term situation. Now, when people ask, when am I going to meet somebody? Well, we meet people every day that we could potentially make something work with. But if if I say in, within six months, yes, you are going to meet someone. Yes. Uh, yes. There is somebody you're going to meet that that doesn't mean that that's the ever after person. And I don't believe sometimes there is not an ever after person. Sometimes there is, you know, because one of us has to die first. Very rarely do we go together. Um, but what I'm sorry that sometimes I channel and after it comes out of my mouth, I'm like, did you really just say that? Um, so what I'm getting is that in that time, in six, it, within or about that six month time, you are going to have an encounter that might not be the long-term encounter. That doesn't mean don't have it. It means enjoy the experience. Um, enjoy, it, it, it. like if your dream car is a Bentley or a Bugatti, um, you're not gonna not have a car until you get your Bentley, okay? You're going to have a car, it's yeah, just not your right. dream car yet. Um, but going into whatever you're going into in the six the next person that is prior to the year person, let them know that, you know, be honest and upfront with everything. So it, it, that it is, it's so one person isn't thinking, oh, this is going to be this. And the other person is going, this is not going to be this. Always be honest and upfront and give that person the option of, if they want to participate in that type of situation. Okay. Whew. That's what I have for you, Ray. I hope it was helpful. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. You are welcome. Okay. Everybody online in the chat, um, uh, please know I come on twice a week, every Monday and every Wednesday at noon. Um, and I'm here for 60 minutes answering questions on the log, and, uh, on, from the calls and from the chat. Minutes. If I did not get to you today, please come back on Monday. And if you subscribe to however you're listening to me, if I do a pop-up show, you will be notified. Thank you, everybody who has liked the show. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I love each and every one of you so stinking much. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you.